Welcome to the Tennessee Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. Before we get started with our presentation, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, the first is that you are welcome and encouraged to ask questions to any of the presenters at any time utilizing the Q&A button. You may ask a question to a specific presenter or ask a general question of any and all of the presenters. Also, your camera and microphone are off, so the presenters will not be able to see or hear you. This is also just one of several sessions that are being offered, so feel free to sign up for them at the same website where you signed up for this evening's session. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. But I'd like to go ahead and kick things off by introducing our first presenter of the evening, Emory and Henry College. All right, thank you so much. Um, good evening, everyone. Again, thanks for joining us. My name is Amanda Bishop, and uh, I'm an admissions counselor at Emory and Henry College. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So again, we are Emory and Henry College. We are a private liberal arts college in Emory, Virginia. That is uh, about 15 minutes across the Virginia, Tennessee state line. Uh, we were founded in 1836, and we are the oldest higher education institution in Southwest Virginia. Here at Emory & Henry, 100% of our undergraduate students receive financial aid. We also have between 12 and 1300 total students, and you can see the breakdown right there. Uh, just under 1000 undergraduate students and then between two and 300 graduate students. We think that having a small campus uh, is very beneficial to our students. They get to work very closely with our award winning faculty members and those faculty members serve as a really great support system for our students. We have a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio and an average class size of 13. Uh, we also have over 70 different student organizations and clubs on campus, and there are over 80 different academic majors, minors, and pre-professional tracks for our students to choose from. Here at Emory & Henry, our students have lots of opportunities for class projects and hands-on research, civic engagement, and community service. Um, about 99 to 100% of our students are involved in community service, and we definitely think that's a very important part of student life here. Lots of opportunities for study away and study abroad. Of course, all of that is on pause during COVID, but we definitely hope to bring a lot of those opportunities back as soon as it's safe to do so. Finally, uh, our students have a lot of opportunities for work experience and internships. Um, we're moving in the direction of all of our majors requiring students to have an internship. Um, those look great on graduate school and professional school applications and on job applications as well. So here on the left side, you can see a list of our majors in pre-professional tracks. We also have some minors that are not listed here, um, but the majors listed in yellow are our top 10 most popular majors on campus. Um, on the left side, you'll see a list of our graduate and professional degrees. Um, some of them are on our main campus, uh, including our Master's of Education program. We also have our School of Health Sciences, which is located in Marion, Virginia, about 20 minutes away from our main campus. There we have our Master of Occupational Therapy, a uh, Master of Physician Assistant program, and our Doctor of Physical Therapy program. So here's our School of Health Sciences. Again, that's in Marion, Virginia. Um, in addition to those other three programs I just mentioned, starting this fall, we will also have our School of Nursing with a BSN program. And we'll also be offering a licensed clinical mental health counseling master's program this fall too. So we're very excited about um, all of these new ventures happening at our School of Health Sciences. Emory and Henry College also offers an equine studies degree program. This is really popular with students who wanna pursue uh, a career in the equestrian industry. Um, also popular with students who want to become a vet later on. Uh, we also have a competitive writing team that focuses on IDA and IHSA writing. We've won 21 national championships through our equestrian team, so we're very proud of uh, all of their hard work down there in Bristol. Emory and Henry College also has the only credit-bearing through-hike program in the country with our Semester A Trail program. This is where students can hike the Appalachian Trail and earn a full semester of college credit. So um, students work really closely with their academic advisors to make sure that they're turning in work periodically throughout their journey. Um, even if you're not interested in committing to a full semester, 
of, of just hiking. Um, students can also participate in our outdoor program and our outdoor adventure team. This is available to all students. It's one of the most popular clubs on campus. And um, students are able to sign up to take trips to go hiking, backpacking, camping, rock climbing, all kinds of really fun outdoor activities. Here's a list of some of the places that our students have recently been employed and recently done internships with. Um, as you can see, some of them are more local to the Emory and Henry area, but of course some of them are um, nationwide companies and corporations and some are international organizations as well. Uh, this is all organized through our Van Vlissingen Center for Career and Professional Development. And we're really, really proud of the amazing work that our Career Center is doing. So it's actually never been easier to apply to Emory and Henry College if you are a senior. Uh, we are test optional for fall 2021. That means we do not require ACT or SAT scores. The only things we do require are the application form, which is free, and your high school transcript. Um, if you're applying later on, uh, just, just keep in mind that we could require test scores um, for juniors or um, other students down the line. Um, however, um, that's still to be decided, so keep, keep that in mind. Um, in terms of financial aid, uh, we have a lot of really generous financial aid that we give to our students. Uh, this includes academic merit scholarships that range from $10,000 up to $23,000 per year, and that's renewable all four years that a student attends here at Emory & Henry. We also have performance and affinity scholarships that students can apply for. These are really great scholarships. Um, you can work closer with your fellow students, work closely with the faculty members, and also earn a scholarship at the same time. Lots of different grants and our LIFT scholarship program as well. Um, and then our work study program allows students to earn up to $3,000 per year, um, just for about 10 hours of work per week. That can be applied directly to your tuition and fees as well. Uh, just to wrap things up, uh, here is our contact information. Our main Office of Admissions contact info is at the top, and then that's my personal contact information down below. Uh, you're welcome to write that down and then let me know if you have any questions um, or any, need any help with the application process. So thank you all so much. Excuse me. Thank you very much, Emory and Henry. Um, up next this evening will be UT Knoxville. All right, well, good evening and greetings from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I'm joined this evening by my colleague, Lauren Walensky, who's manning the chat and answering your questions. My name's Clay Alexander. Uh, we both work in the undergraduate admissions office. Of course, UT Knoxville, home of the volunteers. Uh, we're the state of Tennessee's public flagship land grant institution, home to over 30,000 balls. Our home is Knoxville, which is a nature loving, adventure-seeking, artsy kind of town located in East Tennessee with downtown Knoxville, an easy walk from campus and the nation's most visited national park, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, is our backyard. There are over 24,000 undergraduates currently enrolled, of which 5,512 are new Vols that we welcome to Rocky Top in August. Our Vols hail from all 50 states and 100 countries. Uh, the university is home to nine undergraduate colleges providing instruction in agriculture, architecture and design, the arts and sciences, business, communication and information, education, health and human sciences, engineering, nursing and social work. We're home to four unique honors programs, the Haslam Scholars Program, Chancellor's Honors Program, Leadership Honors Program and the 1794 Scholars Program. Our most acclaimed disciplines are material science, aerospace and nuclear engineering, supply chain management, the design build program in our School of Architecture, and our Forensic Anthropology Research Center, which is home to the world famous body farm. Prospective students can apply beginning in August of their senior year. There are two ways to apply by submitting our application at vip.utk.edu, or you can apply via the Common App at commonapp.org. We are not rolling admission. Our first deadline is November 2nd, which is our early action deadline. And our second deadline is December 15th, which is our regular admissions deadline. 
If you apply by our early action deadline of November 2nd, you'll receive our admission decision in mid-December. And you're eligible to receive our competitive scholarship application and be considered for an invitation to join one of our honors and scholars programs. But if you apply by our regular admissions deadline, you'll receive our decision in mid-February. So as long as you apply by the regular admissions deadline of December 15th, you are qualified to be considered for one of our merit-based scholarships, which does not require an additional application like the competitive scholarship application. The volunteer scholarship is for our students applying with test scores, and the Beacon scholarship is available to students who apply without test scores. For merit-based scholarships, applicants must have a minimum 3.8 core weighted GPA and complete their application by December 15th. Uh, the value of these scholarships start at $3,000 and top off at $8,000 per year. Uh, you can stack on top of these scholarships, the HOPE scholarship and any outside scholarships you may receive. We are currently still test optional, but if you have the opportunity to sit for the ACT, we highly recommend that you do so. Because we super score, the ACT and SAT, do not hesitate to take it more than once. As of this year, we are now a self-reported institution, which means applicants no longer request an official transcript to include with their application. Applicants now create what we call a SAR, S-R-A-R, -R, all right? And this SAR is where you will enter your high school work the grades in those courses, the level, the rigor of those courses, and your school's grading scale. This then creates an academic transcript. An official high school transcript is only required if you ultimately may one choose to come to UT and become a ball. Then we're gonna need your final high school transcript. It eliminates the need for you to bother your school counselors and for them to spend time sending transcripts to us. It puts the power, the control of completing your application in your hands. Admission to UTK is competitive. So the courses you've taken, the level of rigor in those courses, along with your grades, will receive the most attention in our review of your academic preparation. For example, the middle 50% of our current freshman class, those who were admitted and enrolled this fall, they possessed an average core weighted GPA of 3.6 to 4.2, and their ACT super scores were between 24 to 31, with an average around 28. You'll notice I keep using this word core weighted GPA. That's because we don't use your high school GPA to determine admission and scholarship, but instead create a core weighted GPA, which we'll use. This is done by calculating your weighted core GPA based only on your grades in 16 core units that come from the subjects of English, math, science, history, foreign language, and the performing or visual arts courses. Your GPA will be weighted by us to reflect any honors, AP, Cambridge, international, IB, uh, dual enrollment courses, and we'll calculate your uh, GPA on a 4.0 scale. Um, so, while the University of Tennessee distinguishes itself in a number of ways, such as our distinctive color orange, that Vol Navy, our beloved song Rocky Top, and 227 years of rich tradition, there's one common thread that does you know, permeate across campus, and that's our name. Being a Vol is more than a nickname, but rather our identity, who we are, what we do, and how we do it. Volunteers, whether locally, nationally, or globally, serve and shape communities. We're the University of Tennessee. Thank you. Thank you very much, UT Knoxville. Uh, it looks like our third presenter, East Tennessee State, may be having some uh, difficulties joining us this evening. So we're going to go ahead and move forward to Lincoln Memorial University. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. I'm Natalie. I'm the admissions counselor for Lincoln Memorial University. Um, I am going to get my screen shared here and get our PowerPoint started. So just give me one second to get this up. Okay. 
Here we go. Awesome. So again, we're Lincoln Memorial University. We are located in Harrogate, Tennessee. So just point of reference for where Harrogate, Tennessee is. We are about an hour outside of Knoxville towards the Kentucky and Virginia line. We sit right in the Cumberland Gap where Kentucky and Virginia meet. So our main campus is in Harrogate, Tennessee. We also have three campus locations in Knoxville. We have a campus location in Corbin, Kentucky, and we also have a campus location in Tampa, Florida. Florida. At LMU, um, we are a private liberal arts school and we are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges to award associate to doctoral level degrees. So just some of our associate degree programs um, are listed here. Our, most, our two most popular are going to be our associates in science of nursing. So that's gonna allow you to be a registered nurse. Um, another very unique program we have is our associates in veterinary medical technology. This is actually a vet nurse. Um, and it works in conjunction with our vet school. So very hands-on, a very unique program that we have. Our bachelor's programs are listed here. Um, just gonna point out some of our really popular ones. Um, our conservation biology, we actually um, have the Cumberland Gap National Park in our backyard. So um, you get to do field work in a national park. Very, very awesome. Um, exercise and rehab science, our bachelor's of science of nursing. Um, we have a very big BSN program. Uh, political science feeds into our law school. Um, we have veterinary health science as an undergrad that feeds in to our vet school um, and then our our pre-health um, chemistry and biology that feed into our medical school as well. Um, so our, you'll see our pre-professional tracks that we offer here on the left. Um, some of our graduate programs are listed on the right. And these are the professional programs that we have here at LMU. Um, and again, um, our most popular undergraduate degrees are those that feed into our professional schools. So we do have our Duncan School of Law, which is located in Knoxville. Um, we have our DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine, our medical school, which feeds in um, and also has our occupational therapy and physical therapy program. Um, and we also have a physician's assistant program um, and we have a vet school here at LMU. So I say all of that um, to bring us here. So we just implemented this program program at LMU. It's called our Guaranteed Professional Admissions Pathway. Um, so this is for students wishing to continue their education um, either in vet school, in medical school, law school, or physician's assistant school. This allows you to have a guaranteed spot or seat in this professional program. Um, each of these have different um, requirements for the program. So I encourage you to look them up on our website and see um, what requirements are needed. However, essentially, if you do your undergraduate degree at LMU, you are guaranteed a seat in either vet school, um, medical school, law school, or PA school um, through our programs at LMU. So it's very exciting and um, saves a lot of time, a lot of money, um, and a lot of stress to get in these schools. So it's definitely something to look at. There's more information on our website. Again, this is a very new program. We're very excited to have it. So if you have any specific questions about these, um, I would love to answer them. So these are just some student testimonials at LMU. This is a student that um, was a pre-health biology major that is now in our DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine. And um, this is another student that uh, did our conservation biology that I mentioned um, that does the field work in the National Park and he's he's now in a PhD program for molecular biology. So how to become a rail splitter. So um, three steps, easy process. We are rolling admissions here at LMU. Um, we have a free application online and then you're going to submit your high school transcripts and your test scores. We are test optional through next fall. Um, at that time, we will reevaluate. Um, but it's very easy. It's on our website. It takes about five minutes. But to complete that application, we will need your high school transcripts. Um, and so those will come to our admissions office. So you'll see our, our um, website located here. You'll see apply up at the top. You'll be a new user. And again, a really quick and easy process. So acceptance policy here at LMU. So we are guaranteed acceptance at a 3-2 and a 19 or a 9-10. Um, however, we do accept students under that academic criteria. We have Cornerstone, what's called um, an academic support program. So we do take students under that 3-2 and that 19. 
So Rail Splitter 101, um, so we have lots of housing options here at LMU. So we have um, apartment style housing, we have community style dorms. Um, so we would love to show you these. We are still taking campus tours. So if you would like to come look inside some of our housing, we would love to show you that. Uh, they are Monday through Friday, 9, 12 and 2 o'clock. Um, student life, just want to mention some stuff that we have here. Uh, we do have a thousand acre campus, so we have lots of room um, and space to be, and we have lots of student activities to fill that space with. So um, we do have athletics, we have fraternities and sororities, we have intramural sports, um, student clubs and organizations, student government, student leadership programs, lots of ways to get involved. So you'll see here we have a, a monthly student activities calendar, um, so we have lots of fun stuff for you to get involved in. We do have Div uh, Division II athletics here. Uh, we compete in the SAC conference. And so you'll see some of those listed here. I would also encourage you to check out the athletic website. You can see rosters, um, coaches information if you wanna reach out to them and things like that. Uh, lots of services here at LMU. We're a small community. So we're about a 14 to one student to um, teacher ratio, we have about 1,900 undergraduate students and 3,000 graduate and professionals. So we have lots of services here. We're a small community. We want to support you um, and help you through your journey. So academic scholarships. So we award every student an internal um, academic scholarship that ranges from $4,000 all the way up to full tuition. You'll see the requirements are listed on the right. They're based on ACT and GPA. We are test optional. So if you have not taken the ACT or the SAT, we'll award you a score based on your GPA and that way you still get your internal scholarship. So you'll see it's a sliding scale on the side. Um, if you have any questions about what your internal scholarship might be, even if you haven't applied, I'd love to answer that question for you. Um, so we're very affordable private school. So that the in May 2020, the national average student loan debt was around 37,000. Um, for our 2020 graduates, we Oh, I think my screen. Yeah, sorry, we're we're past the six minutes. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, feel free to quickly wrap up. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so would just love to um, talk about internal scholarships. Um, you saw those listed there, and um, if anybody has any questions, would love to talk to you afterwards. Thank you. Great, thank you very much, Lincoln Memorial. Uh, before we move on to our next presenter, just a reminder to any attendees who joined this late, uh, you are encouraged to ask questions to any of the presenters at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. Uh, but up next this evening is East Tennessee State University. Thank you, Christopher. Let me go ahead and share my screen. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach tonight since we only have six minutes I'm going to show the attendees how to navigate our admissions page for the in person and virtual resources we have to offer ETSU was founded in 1911 as a uh, teachers teachers college we're currently a public research university with over 15,000 students We're a division one sports school with 19 different sports teams and our student to faculty ratio is about 15 to one. We do have over 150 programs. So this is our main admissions page and it's uh, pretty much a place for you to get a ton of the resources you would need for prospective students. Our majors, as I mentioned, we have over 150 programs. We have the largest nursing program in the state of Tennessee, various different concentrations in engineering, business, education, um, and we do offer a ton of graduate and doctoral programs as well. All right, so to apply to ETSU, you will fill out an online application, which is at the bottom of this page. Um, for freshmen, our minimum GPA is a 2.3 or a 19 on the ACT score. Uh, we are test optional currently. That may change depending on a uh, student's availability to take the ACT, but you will send us a copy of your high school transcript, and we typically have a three to five day um, time frame in terms of providing an admissions decision. All right, so um, I also wanted to talk about some of the virtual and in-person events that we currently are offering. Due to COVID, we've had to adapt um, everyone. 
in terms of the approach. So we do have in-person and virtual events. Um, some of our Get Connected Facebook Live events are um, sessions about various topics that ETSU staff and current students will answer questions about. As you can see on the right, we have some various upcoming topics in terms of orientation, dual enrollment, um, student organization. So if you're interested, you can join us for our Facebook Live events. We do have some in-person ETSU tours um, that allow students to meet with college representatives based on your program interest. So you can see the up, upcoming dates here. And we're also giving in-person tours. Um, so if you ever wanna come visit campus, we currently have a two guest uh, maximum um, and we do give tours Monday through Friday and some Saturday tours as well. If you ever wanna schedule a video call with an admissions counselor, we are available Monday through Friday. Um, and then we do have an upcoming open house that's going to be on April 10th. The registration will be um, posted soon. So another opportunity for students interested in ETSU to learn more about the university. All right, so um, I talked about the application pro process, academic programs. Um, we have over 250 student organizations, so plenty of opportunities to get involved. Um, for students who have already been admitted, we do have a list of action items to take before attending orientation. So I'd recommend screenshotting this or coming to this page if you have been admitted to ETSU for the fall and have questions about what steps to take next. All right, we are um, wanting to get connected with students as uh, easily as possible. So we do have a live chat function on our website. Um, if you ever have questions about uh, the application process, coming to visit campus, scholarships, financial aid, you can come to this page, find a resource and we're more than happy to help you. Go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Thank you, Christopher. Hey, thank you very much, East Tennessee State. Uh, moving on to our next presenter, uh, we have Walter State Community College. Hello, everyone. My name is Carrie Wilson, and I am the Enrollment Development Specialist here at Walter State Community College. So I actually started um, as a student here, and I have been here now for 10 years and am a full-time employee. So I came here, and I never left, and I know if you gave Walter State a shot, I know that you would want to stay here, too, because it really is a wonderful place um, to learn and to work. So let me just start off by saying we do have over 150 different academic programs here at Walter State. So we are a community college and we'll talk a little bit about Tennessee Promise here in just a moment. Um, but again, we have over 150 different programs. With that being said, we have transfer pathways. So if some of these other schools um, have interested you, but maybe you wanna start out on a smaller scale, we could get you going here first. So we have Associate of Science degrees and then we have Associate of Arts degrees. Um, and they transfer to other four-year institutions. Now, we also offer certificate programs. The certificate programs are roughly one year to complete. And once you complete the certificate, you're ready to go out and enter into the workforce. So that is a wonderful option to have if you're looking for something just a little bit shorter and you know that you're ready to go out um, and work more quickly and be in uh, to the workforce. Speaking of workforce, we also have Associates of Applied Science degrees. So an Associate of Applied Science degree is going to be things like our nursing program, um, because you're getting the know-how of how to be a nurse and go out and actually um, take your NCLEX and be an RN once complete. So um, we have four campus locations. Uh, we have a total of 5,500 to 6,000 students, um, and we are known for our small class sizes. So with our four campuses, we have our Marstown campus, we have our Greenville campus, we have our Sevierville campus, and we have our Claiborne campus. So each of those campuses are kind of known for their own specific programs that they offer. 
So at the Morristown campus, we are known for our physical therapy assistant program. We are also known for our agriculture program. We have a very popular ag program. We have our Walder State Expo Center located right off the interstate of 81, where we do a lot of rodeos um, and things like that. We also have our own landscaping program as well. Um, so definitely a really unique option that we have there. In Greenville, we have our occupational therapy assistant program. We also have our very own police academy there, um, as well as our respiratory therapy assistant program. At our Sevierville campus, you can imagine Sevierville nestled right up next to Pigeon Forge, we have a wonderful, wonderful culinary program. We also do hospitality management there at the Sevierville campus. Um, our Sevierville campus has a beautiful brand new building there. Um, we have disc golf at that campus. And then we also have our surgical technology program there, as well as to complete your other general education classes. That's also what Claiborne has. It's a great resource to complete those general education classes. So when it comes to financial aid and affording school, let's talk a little bit about your options. So of course you will do your FAFSA to see what you qualify for. But uh, we also accept the Tennessee Promise. So the Tennessee Promise Scholarship, I know that you've probably heard about through your high schools, is going to be the scholarship that gets you to that zero dollar tuition balance. So perhaps you didn't have any other money coming in through your FAFSA. Completing those Tennessee Promise requirements would help get you to that point to get you to that zero dollar balance. We also offer Walter State scholarships through our foundation. Um, so we have our own scholarship form that you can do and complete to see if you would qualify for any of those. And we also have a wonderful um, program through our dual enrollment where if you complete four dual enrollment classes through Walter State, it's a guaranteed scholarship program. So those are some really good options. Um, and if you have any questions about that, we would love to talk to you um, and help get you those answers. At Walter State, we are known for our athletics. Um, we do have men's and women's basketball. We have golf, we have baseball, we have volleyball, we have softball, and we have cross country. We have two national championships, one in golf and one in baseball that we are incredibly, incredibly proud of. Um, we also have um, over 40 different clubs on campus. Now, a lot of our clubs are involved in um, specific major related fields, but we also have a lot of clubs that's they're just for fun. So we have a club called the Adventurers Club. Our president is Dr. Mixa. Um, he helped get our hiking and biking trail on our Marstown campus, which we're super excited to have. Um, but with this club, we also, um, I say we, it's not actually me. I don't actually go into caves and things like that. Um, but our students take trips to go skiing, they go in caves, and they go on all sorts of adventures. And that's the main point of that club. Uh, we also have our Senators Cares Club. Our Senators Cares Club um, works to volunteer because we are a community college. So we try to invest time in our communities that we serve. So that's another really big part of what we do. Um, we would love to have you visit us at the Walter State campus. Um, to visit us, you'll go to ws.edu. You'll select admissions, campus visits, and tours. We are doing virtual visits right now. We are also doing in-person visits. We would love, love, love to welcome you to Walter State. Again, my name is Carrie, um, and if you have any questions, please just let us know, but we would love to welcome you to Walter State. Thank you so much, and I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Walter State. And now we'll move on to our final presenter for the evening, Tusculum University. Hello, uh, my name is Steve Schultz and I am the Senior Admissions Counselor at Tusculum University. Uh, it is good to see everybody. Uh, we are uh, the oldest school in Tennessee. Uh, we're founded in 1794, uh, so we're about 227 years old this summer. Uh, we are also a very small private civic arts school. Uh, and what that means is we have uh, over 50 different majors and minors, uh, 60 total program, over 60 programs in total. Um, and uh, we also focus heavily on our community engagement, civic engagement. 
Um, right there's our website, tusculum.edu. You can find absolutely everything. Uh, every single one of our professors and deans has their email address on that website. So if you have any questions about any programs you might see, you are welcome to email them. Uh, they will respond usually within a day or two. Uh, what you see here on screen, uh, you see that we are what's called a civic arts school. Uh, our students had over 69,000 community service hours in 2020, uh, or in 2019, uh, 2020, a little bit less because we couldn't go out in the community, uh, but we only have 1,400 students total. Uh, so our students are averaging about 30 to 40 community service hours. They're only required to do 10. Uh, and some of those hours we do as an entire community. So our faculty, staff, students, coaches, everybody take an entire day off of school. We shut the campus down and we go out and perform community service. And what civic engagement simply means is that we want you to be involved in every aspect of your future career and your future community. So if you're gonna be a business major, not only will you be uh, required to do internships, but we're also gonna ask that you attend zoning commission meetings and learn from other local businesses and chambers of commerce uh, how businesses actually operate in the community you want to move into. Uh, same with teachers attending school board meetings, our biochemical majors actually meet with uh, pharmaceutical reps and things like that so that we can all learn not just how to have a job when you graduate, but how to be a positive force of change in whatever community you move on to. Uh, so it's a big sense of pride for us. We have an entire office dedicated just to civic engagement. Uh, we are located in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, so we're about an hour from Knoxville, half an hour from Johnson City, about an hour north of Asheville. It's a beautiful little town. Uh, we're right in between, we're in the foothills basically between Blue Ridge Mountains and the Smoky Mountains. Uh, so Gatlinburg's 40 minutes away. Um, it's just, it's a wonderful place to be from and uh, we're real proud of where we are uh, and the community around us. Um, that said, we were recently named the 12th best bang for your buck in the entire country uh, last year. Uh, and they rated that simply based off of our average cost of attendance. Uh, so cost of living on campus and going to school after scholarships. Um, plus they, they, they uh, study that along with our average starting salary of our graduates, which is one of the top five in the entire state. Um, and we came out to be one of the 12 best values in the entire nation last year. Uh, every single one of our students, uh, traditional undergraduate students receive some sort of financial aid. Our merit scholarships range from 10% uh, all the way up to 70% of our yearly tuition. Um, and then we also offer $1,000 to any students in the Appalachian regions. We accept Tennessee Hope. We do accept some Tennessee Promise money, any federal money. Uh, so we do end up being one of the most affordable private schools in the entire country. Uh, and that being said, because of that reputation, we do have students from over 38 states, and we now have students from 34 different countries, uh, just accepted a student from Israel yesterday. Um, so it is a very diverse student body. Uh, you will get to know people from all over the world, literally, at our tiny little school in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, we are an NCAA Division II school. Uh, we have over 23 different sports uh, on our campus, uh, including and plus cheer. Uh, we do have a band. Um, so we, we are a very, very active campus. One of the reasons we can do all this as a small school is we don't do classes after three o'clock. We don't do classes on Fridays. Uh, so our teams, our theater students, our musicians, nobody has to choose between practice and class. Everything has its own time on campus. And if you're interested in anything more about this, go check out our website, tusculumpioneers.com. You're welcome to contact coaches there. I can't talk scholarships when it comes to athletics because the NCAA, but they can. Um, and then after that, check out both our men's and women's basketball teams in the semifinals of the playoffs tonight uh, while you're on that website because all of our games are streamed live. Uh, at Tusculum, we do have over 50 majors and minors. Uh, our total student enrollment is 1720. That includes over 400 students who are graduate program students. We do offer master's degrees uh, and starting next year, we'll offer doctorate programs as well on campus. And this is just a list of our majors and minors. You can see pretty much everything you'd expect uh, from business to education to criminal justice. Uh, and then some stranger ones like museum studies. Uh, we do have a coaching degree at Tusculum or one of the few schools with that. Um, and we have an independent program of study, which means if you don't see the exact major you want, we can create it out of the courses that we offer. So we do have social justice majors on campus. We have a cartography major on campus who is the study of maps. 
Um, and then what you'll see here is we do require internships, but we will find them for you. And you can start your internships your sophomore year, meaning you can have up to three years work experience after you graduate from Tusculum, or by the time you graduate from Tusculum. And because of that, over 91% of our students have a full-time career within 10 years of graduating. And that's one of the top three numbers in the entire state of Tennessee. Uh, it's something we're incredibly proud of. Um, our placement in careers and communities keeps going. You can see a, small, a short list of where we send our graduates. Um, it's all over the world. Um, what you don't see there is that the 2019 Poet of the Year was also a Tusculum graduate. Uh, so whatever field you're interested in, we'll help you get there. Um, on this page here, you'll find my email address. It is admission at tusculum.edu. You'll also be able to find us on the website, uh, tusculum.edu. We are open for in-person visits and virtual visits right now. And we have an open house coming up at the end of March. So go check out our website, sign up for it. And I look forward to seeing you at Tusculum University. Okay, thank you very much, Tusculum. Uh, we do have about five minutes remaining. So attendees, if you have any last questions for any of our presenters, feel free to send them through using the Q&A feature. Uh, while we're waiting to hear if there are any more questions, uh, maybe we'll do a quick round robin of all of our presenters and have you answer uh, one of the following two questions, either what's your favorite event or tradition on campus, um, or what's one thing you didn't have time to present on that you'd like to quickly go over now. Um, we'll go back in that same order. So let's start with Emery and Henry. All right, sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, I would say one of my favorite campus traditions um, is called Service Plunge. Um, it's during our welcome week. So the first week of classes, um, all of our students have the opportunity to participate in a full day of community service. Um, like I mentioned, about 100% of our students are um, active in community service and they all have that opportunity the first week of classes. Um, we partner with a lot of nonprofits in our area. And so um, that's one thing that I'm really proud of that Emory and Henry uh, engages in every year. Thank Great, you. Thank you. Uh, UT Knoxville. Well, uh, probably one of my favorite um, traditions uh, would have to be um, uh, um, the uh, Pride of the Southland marching band marching down pedestrian walkway uh, toward and into Neyland Stadium. Um, it, it's uh, just an electric atmosphere, but uh, just the school spirit is amazing. Uh, so on a, on a game day in the fall, that, that's a pretty neat tradition. Great. Thank you. Uh, Lincoln Memorial? Yeah, so um, I'm going to go with events. So my favorite event is definitely our welcome weekend. We stretch it out way past the weekend. It's about four to five days, um, but this is just an opportunity. We make sure our students are really ready, comfortable for their first day. They've made friends already through the first five days. Um, we have lots of events. We walk your schedule with you. So um, we just make sure that you feel comfortable, you feel welcome, and you are ready to get started at LMU. Great, thank you. Uh, East Tennessee State. Thank you. I would have to echo Natalie, our welcome week and our homecoming week are huge events on campus where we have student clubs and organizations participating in activities. Um, one of them is painting each student club and organization paints a square leading up to our student cult center. So each year that changes and it's uh, really engaging. One thing I wanted to mention though, is that we did build a brand new performing arts center, which will be open in the fall. Uh, a brand new student center, and we've made upgrades to our Center for Physical Activity, football stadium, and also um, to our library. So a couple of uh, updates happening this upcoming fall. Thank you. Uh, Walter State. So I would have to say our spring fling is definitely one of my favorite events that we have on campus. So we usually have a dunking booth, um, we also invite all of our four-year university friends to come and recruit at that event. Um, but we also do a lot of fun things too. Um, we have like bounce houses and everything like that. You also get ice cream um, and then you also get like lunch and everything. And it's such a good time of fellowship and to see everybody all together. Um, and it is definitely one of my favorite events, especially when you just hit that beautiful spring, um, springtime atmosphere here. Great, thank you. And Tusco. 
Well, I will back up the uh, spring fling. I've had a chance to attend for three straight years now, so it's a lot of fun. But at Tusculum, our favorite thing is is almost always going to be the Old Oak Festival. Um, we have a gorgeous, gigantic, nationally award-winning uh, oak tree on campus. We have a huge festival, so our little campus of 1,400 students ends up hosting between five to 10,000 people from the area and actually all over the country uh, for big arts and crafts festival. There's bands, there's all kinds of food trucks. Um, and it's a whole four days where students can present artwork and their research projects. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's a, a good time right about two weeks before finals. Good chance for everybody to blow off steam. Uh, that's probably my favorite tradition at Tusculum. Great, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you to all of our presenters this evening. Uh, before we close this session, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, we wanna thank all of our attendees for joining us this evening. Uh, when you close out this window, you, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you take a minute and complete. We also wanna remind you to go ahead and sign up for more sessions at the same website where you signed up for this evening session. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. Uh, but thank you again to everyone. Uh, have a great night and good luck in your college search.